The Braun 1 Interior Ready ERV has been specially designed to ease the installing contractor's life. Thanks to Virtuo technology, you can save up to 20 minutes per unit on install and enjoy the peace of mind that comes with knowing the Brone One will stay balanced long after you leave the job site. Installing and commissioning a fresh air system has never been so simple. The Brone One Interior Ready ERV has been specially designed to be installed within a ceiling or wall cavity to easily blend into the interior space, providing location flexibility and easy maintenance access. When determining the installation location, ensure there is adequate space to properly make the necessary electrical connections located near the LCD screen of the unit. You'll also want to ensure the unit is in an accessible area and has at least 9 inches of clearance from the unit's door surface for regular maintenance access. The unit must be installed in a location where the surrounding ambient temperature is maintained between 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. When the housing of the unit is installed into a space such as an attic, there are insulation requirements that must be met based on zones A and B. In zone A, insulation must be spread over and around the unit. In zone B, a sealed enclosure must be installed over and around the unit with a one inch clearance from the top of the unit housing to the enclosure. Insulation must be spread over and around the enclosure. Ducting must pass through the sealed enclosure and must be sealed to the enclosure. When installing the unit into a ceiling or wall cavity, the minimum distance required between the mounting structure is 20.5 inches. In typical 24 inches on center truss construction, it is easiest to include additional 2x4 pieces where the mounting brackets will be placed, while maintaining a gap for extra space for the electrical wiring. If installing into a wall cavity, ensure the LCD screen of the unit is mounted so it is at the top. With all the location requirements met, remove the unit from its packaging. All of the necessary mounting hardware and installation instructions have been included with the unit packaging. Using the template printed on the unit's packaging, position the unit and mark the mounting holes for easier installation. Screw the four pivoted mounting screws into the marked locations, leaving about a quarter of an inch of clearance between the head of the screw and the mounting structure. Based on the ceiling or wall material thickness, install the four mounting brackets with the provided hardware into the respective set of mounting holes. With the mounting brackets fully secured to the unit's housing, carefully lift the unit and fully place the unit onto the pre-installed mounting screws. To prevent damage to the pre-painted door surface, leave the trim kit packaging attached to the unit. Fully tighten the mounting screws. Before any electrical work, switch the power off at the service panel and lock the service disconnecting means to prevent power from being switched on accidentally. With the unit fully secured, properly route the necessary electrical wiring to the unit. Unlatch the unit's door and rotate it open. Remove the two screws of the LCD screen cover. Rotate the LCD screen cover. Remove the electrical compartment cover. Secure the wiring to the unit using the pre-installed wire clamp connector. Perform the necessary wiring connections. Once the wiring connections are complete, reverse these steps. If an optional low voltage control will be used with the unit, properly route the wiring to the unit and make the corresponding connections at the fixed terminal connection block located on the unit. With all the necessary electrical connections complete, rotate the door into the closed position and latch it shut. Next, determine the desired airflow direction and move the switch to the side the exterior ductwork will flow towards. Route the ductwork based on the desired installation type. There are five types. T1, fully ducted system. T2, exhaust ducted system. T3, exhaust ducted alternate. T4, simplified installation and T5 Simplified Installation Alternate. Use the following procedure to connect the insulated flexible ducts to the ports of the unit. Expose the flexible duct by pulling back the insulation and placing it over the inner port ring. Attach the flexible duct to the port using a tie wrap. Fully seal the joint. Pull the insulation and vapor barrier over the joint. Tuck them between the inner and outer rings of the double collar and fasten them in place using duct tape. With the unit fully secured, electrical connections made, and ductwork fully sealed, locate and cut a 21 by 27 and a half inch hole in the ceiling or wall material. 
Install around the unit and ensure there is enough space to easily install the trim kit retention springs. Next, carefully remove the package trim kit from the unit's door. Turn the power on at the electrical panel and let Virtuo verify the air flows at the initial setting. In a few seconds, Virtuo will display the maximum airflow value and either the house supply or exhaust icon will appear to indicate which airflow is more restricted on the LCD screen. You can use the plus or minus buttons to adjust the desired maximum value and press the check mark to confirm. Once the maximum value has been confirmed, configure the minimum value using the plus or minus buttons, then press the check mark to confirm. INS will display on the LCD screen. Choose from the following installation types. T1, fully ducted system. T2, exhaust ducted system. T3, exhaust ducted alternate. T4, simplified installation. And T5, simplified installation alternate. Choose the installation configuration using the plus or minus buttons, select the installation configuration on the LCD screen, and press the check mark to confirm. Your installation is now completed and balanced. The unit is ready to operate. To select the desired mode, press the check mark button. Then use the plus or minus buttons to cycle to the desired mode. Press the check mark button to select the desired mode. If a pressure change occurs, Virtuo will detect it and adjust instantly to maintain initial setting values. You can modify the following options configuration by holding the check mark button for 4 seconds. Defrost, Install Type, Dry Contact, and Override. If any change is made to the ventilation ducting or to reset settings, press the check mark and minus button simultaneously for four seconds. Use the plus or minus buttons to select yes or no, and press the check mark button to confirm. Then perform the auto balancing procedure. Install the LCD screen cover using the provided hardware. The advanced touchscreen control offers even more. You can use it as an installation tool and configure the desired air flows directly in its interface. It's also possible to save and export an existing configuration for a future installation. Carefully remove the trim kit, LCD screen cover, and hardware from its packaging. On a clean, flat surface, assemble the trim kit using the provided hardware. Ensure all joints fit well together before fully tightening the hardware. With the trim kit assembled, press the mounting springs and insert them into the mounting brackets on the unit. Push the trim kit tight against the ceiling or wall material. The access door and trim can be painted if desired. For any other information concerning the installation, please refer to your installation and user guide or visit brone-newtone.com.